Hello everyone, welcome to the video on MCQ answer explanation. In this video, I will explain biochemistry related questions. Well, let us see the first question. The first question is, the main source of energy for brain, renal medulla and RBC is? Options given are fatty acids, glucose, ketone bodies, all. Well, let us understand the question. See, RBC, brain, renal medulla, the main source is, main source for energy is glucose. Usually body uses glucose and fatty acids to get energy. But in case of RBC, RBC has got no nucleus and no mitochondria. If mitochondria is not there, citric acid cycle electron transport chain occurs in mitochondria and they won't happen in RBC. So in the cytoplasm, only glycolysis is occur and glycolysis uses glucose to generate ATP source. So RBC, the sole source is glucose. Coming to the brain, again brain uses glucose regularly to get energy, not free fatty acids. During starvation, it may use ketone bodies, but the regular source of energy is glucose. Coming to the renal medulla, renal medulla has always got in hypoxic condition. Low levels of oxygen will be there to renal medulla. So glycolysis occurs even without oxygen. Hence, the sole source of energy is glucose because glycolysis uses glucose. So the option is uh, B, glucose. Coming to the next question. The net ATP gained from glycolysis is, options are 8 ATP, 6 ATP, 4 ATP, 2 ATP. Now understand this, do not get confused. See, glycolysis is an anaerobic energy yielding pathway. It does not require oxygen. It starts with glucose, ends with pyruvate. Glucose breaks down to pyruvate, hence it is called as glycolysis glycolysis. Now overall it produces 4 ATP, but at the beginning it uses 2 ATP. Glucose to glucose 6 phosphate 1 ATP, fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 1 6 bisphosphate 2 ATP. But finally it is producing 4 ATP. Because it is using 2 of the ATPs, the net gain, the question asks about net ATP gain is 2 ATP. Okay, now let us see the next question. See gluconeogenesis mainly occurs in. See gluconeogenesis is a pathway by which glucose is produced from non-carbohydrate sources like pyruvate, lactate, glycerol 3 phosphate and amino acids. Now, Options given are liver, brain, heart, bone marrow. See, gluconeogenesis majorly occur in liver. To small extent, it also occur in kidney. But here the answer given is only liver. So the option A is the right answer. The reason for this is, in order to go with new gluconeogenesis, you need certain enzymes required, requirement is there. And those enzymes are especially present in liver, especially glucose 6-phosphatase. The enzyme which converts glucose 6-phosphate to glucose is abundantly present in only liver. Hence, this process occurs in liver. Let us see the next question. HMP shunt occurs in. Hexose monophosphate shunt is another glucose oxidation pathway. It, it is called as a shunt pathway because glucose is converted to again fructose 6-phosphate. Again, it gets back to glucose also. Now, it is also known as pentose phosphate pathway because in this pathway, pentose phosphates like ribose 5-phosphate is produced which are used for DNA synthesis. Now, this pathway occurs in cytoplasm. The options given are mitochondria, cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum and nucleus. Option B is right answer. Understand this, glycolysis, HMP shunt occurs in cytoplasm. Gluconeogenesis occurs in cytoplasm as well as mitochondria because one of the enzyme required is present in mitochondria. Whereas citric acid cycle, electron transport chain, all these occurs in mitochondria. Now let us see the last, uh, last question. Uronic acid, the main function of uronic acid pathway is now, see, understand this, uronic acid pathway produces glucuronate, production of glucuronate. So, this is very important molecule which, which is used in detoxifying reactions. When you see metabolism, phase 1 and phase 2, in phase 2, glucuronic acid is involved. So, this glucuronic acid is produced in uronic acid pathway. So, the answer is producing glucuronic acid uh, uh, is the major uh, function of uronic acid pathway. Thank you for watching this video.